Hey, cute people. Happy New Year. I had to sit down to um, do this video with you guys. A happy New Year from my family to yours. I, I just had to do it really, really because I wanted to thank everybody for your subscriptions, your comments, suggestions, requests, questions. All that, trust me, is greatly appreciated. I know I've said it before. I know you hear it all the time. But trust me, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. YouTube for me is just a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy getting in front of my camera, which takes forever to set it up because I don't have a view and yada, yada, yada. But, um, yeah, it really, really, really is a lot of fun. And I really enjoy it. Like I said, the feedback and um, just knowing somebody wants to hear what little things you want to share with me. And it does really mean a lot. When I started my YouTube channel, it wasn't supposed to be going in the way that it's going now. I really wanted it to be more like um, somewhere where I would just talk about things that were passionate to me. I've done some videos like that, but it seems like my channel has pretty much going on the natural hair beauty path which is cool but I want to get back to some of the things this year that um, I really wanted to do on my channel like I said just talk about things that are passionate to me um, I'm not going to stay very long but I did want to mention two things that I myself need to work on but I'd like you to work on or get better at or do if you don't this year just two simple things and I hope you don't mind if I check in later on in the year with you guys and see how we're all coming along but the first thing that I want to um, address really is, is an issue with family my family or well, my immediate family people that I'm really close to and I love very much are all out of state. I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys before, but my mom lives in North Carolina. My um, older son lives in Georgia, and so that means the kids are not here. It's just like, and people say, well, why don't you go to one of those states in Georgia? And I'm like, no. I keep telling you, I'm a new. York City girl but what I wanted to say in that is that you know we're a close family we speak often but what I really wanted to say in that when you speak to your family was always let them know that you love them because we're gonna lose some people this year I know that sounds a little morbid but it's true um, I'm sure I'm gonna lose people that are gonna you know that mean a lot to me I hope that it's Okay, I'm gonna that one. So I'm gonna put that out in the first but Tell the people that you love that you love them, especially children. I know that means a lot. I know it means a lot for a child to hear that they are loved, that you love them, that you want them to be safe and secure because when they don't hear it, trust me, they will see that love and security from someplace else. Some dude that's not good for your granddaughter, your daughter. Um, a game that's not good for your son, jail, crime, whatever. I don't know. They'll be seeking things other places, and we don't want that. So, I always tell my family members when I speak to them at the end of the conversation that I love them because, like I said, we're not close. Um, they're states away, so I want them to really know and feel that I love them so much and there's some family members that I haven't spoken to in a while I'm going to make it my business to get in touch with them to let them know that I love them yeah I think that's very important so if that's something that you do great if it's something you don't do work on it family to me is so very important and I know if you're like me and you watch the Every Mary show and um, the Braxton and you see how close they are. Like I said, my family, we're close too. We're so far away, so we don't have that physical closeness. And I, me, yes, I miss it. I'm going to tell my mother, Mom, why did you have to go back to North Carolina and leave us in New York? But either way, if she's happy, I'm happy too. So tell your family that you love me as often as you can. The second thing I do and I like to share with you guys because hopefully you can help somebody. Like I said, uh, I just, you know, like to share and come across.
those things that will help me in what I do. I like to help you guys too. But what I want to work on more this year, which I do all the time when I come across young people, especially the young people in my life who I speak to and see quite regularly, I tell them every time I'm um, in the conversation with them, even before, during, and after sometimes, and they probably like, I wish you would shut up because we get it. And that is to learn something new every day. I want to know, what do you want to do when you're an adult when you grow up? Yeah, they say um, an architect, which I know a young man who wants to be an architect. So I said to him, what do you do now to learn about business of being an architect what to do will you really like it this is something that you want to get into do you do research and he said no so I said well every day what you should do is learn something about something that interests you and a lot of times it doesn't have to be that you're learning something in reference to school um, it doesn't have to be about um, a vacation college or anything like that. It could be something so simple like maybe learning how to tell when papaya is ripe. <laughs> yeah, because those things, you know, make you feel good about yourself when you know things. How do you feel when you know something and you realize that you can share that with somebody else? It does make you feel good. You know, not good like you and know it all, hopefully, because I don't like those things. People that know everything and don't know anything get on my nerve and I stay away from them. Yeah, but just, you know, so many things that I want to do in the new year. Even though the latter, like I said, I do all the time. I just wanted to pass that on to you guys because I think that with a lot of kids, if they don't have dreams, they end up in the wrong place. And a lot of things that I've come across in life make me so sad when I hear and see that some people just don't have love for themselves because no one loved them and um, this new year really for me I just want to be better this year than I was last year and really it doesn't make much of a difference when you start trying to better yourself because it's just from one day 2013 to the next day 2014 so nothing should just cut off from 2013 and just start all over for 14 but it is a good indication to start working on some new things you know there's a lot of things that I really want to do this year I mean I don't know if I'll get them all done but if I stay on the straight and narrow and make myself um, committed to those things I'll get them done and um, I hope you don't mind if I share them with you sometimes. Trust me, it's not about, um, <laughs> it's not about, um, money or conference or anything like that. It's pretty much just personal girls working on trying to be a better me. Things that I've always wanted to do, like I've always wanted to finish college and get a degree. Because I think that would be such a, um, I mean, that's just like a confidence booster. Not because you have a degree, but because you did something that takes time to do and you put yourself out there and you did the hard work and some way, somehow it'll pay off. You know, that's pretty much what I want to, you know, do for myself this year. You know, like little things like that, you know, that just make me feel like, wow, I set up a goal. Because in my life, I've never really set up goals. I had a lot of things that I wanted to do, but, um, other things got in the way that I like in the way I would say, but they didn't. They would not have necessarily stopped me from being a better me. That's why I think with children, you gotta work so hard to help them get to where they need to be. I wish I had known this years ago, but sometimes it takes some life experiences and going through things to get where you have to get and I really do applaud myself being half a century I don't feel like I know everything but I really really like to share the things that I know and um it's not a whole lot but it means a lot to me so for this new year really I just want myself to set some goals I don't care how small it is I have like little goals 
that when I accomplished it, it made me feel good. I mean, something so little as cleaning out my closet. I'm getting rid of um, old clothes, whatever it is. Those little things give me the strength to work on the bigger things. And if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Yeah, and hopefully as y'all get to meet um, a lot of you guys. I met a young lady, Curly2087. I met her here in the Bronx, Rochester Macy's, when uh, we went to go pick up the Riri Mac Holiday Collection. That was really fun. She was the second person I met. And um, I was a little like, okay. That was just a cute story. Me. It was cute because she just stopped right in front of me and she recognized me. So, but when I say meet other people, I'm going to try to get to some meet and greets, you know, this year. When I see them happening here in New York, I always see them, but I don't really go hear shows and things like that I want to attend. So, hopefully, I'll get a chance to meet some of the New Yorkers. If you know anything going on, let me know. So if I can, I definitely will be there. But then a lot of times I make plans to do something and something else comes. I really, really want to thank you guys for all your support. And like I said, it does mean a lot. I really just want to wish you all a happy new year. I'm telling you, a happy new year. And like I said, some of those things that I mentioned, those things are just really small, but they mean a lot, you know, because family means everything. And I love little kids. I love little kids, and I hate to see the little child with a broken heart whatever reason it is. So let's try to teach our children to love themselves and work hard at making goals and being happy in life. How does that So that's what, what I'm going to do in the new year. But I'm going to end this video. I don't have to cook today because my son is cooking and making some um, turkey wings, white rice, black beans, oh God, there's a whole bunch of something that's going to taste so good, so I'm looking forward to that, but um, I really want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video, because I just have so many other thoughts I want to express in the video, but it didn't take too long, so hopefully the message I wanted to share with you guys in this video, you did get a chance to um, receive it and if so thank you if not thank you anyway <laughs> but I hope to see you guys in the next video and I really really want you guys to have a healthy prosperous and happy new year again from my family to your family yes share and spread love Hey cute people, if you missed my last video, you definitely can click this box and it'll take you right to view the video. Also, I am on social media, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram is Ebony Girl Speaks, and you can find me on Facebook, Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.